if you are a professional secondary school teacher in your home country and are interested in immigrating to the US together with your family, then you want to stick up to the very end of this video because I'm going to be sharing with you the eligibility requirements to immigrate to the US as a teacher. I'm going to be talking about, I'm going also to cover the top 10 teacher export countries to the US, the top 10 destination states for teachers. And I'm also going to share with you the application process to immigrate to the US as a professional teacher. So you want to hang on up to the very end of this video so you can learn all about this very special pathway that allows professional teachers in their home countries to immigrate to the US along with their families. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome Karibu. My name is Eva Mtali and this is Travel with Eva Mtali, your number one YouTube channel for all things travel, visas, working abroad, living abroad, and studying abroad. So if any of those topics sound exciting to you, you want to hit the subscribe button below. And once you have done so, please remember to hit the notification bell as well so that every single time I shoot a new video, you do not miss out. So without much further ado, let's dive in and take a look at this U.S. immigration pathway that professional teachers can use to move to the U.S. As a professional teacher in your home country, you can actually immigrate to the U.S. temporarily as a full-time teacher in an accredited K-2 school under the exchange visa J-1 non-immigrant visa category. The J-1 visa allows approved individuals to participate in the work and study-based exchange visitor program in the U.S. The need for non-U.S. native teachers has been mandated by the desire to help fill teacher shortages in the U.S. while providing a rich cultural exchange aimed at helping American students to see the world in a different light. The main advantage of this program is that spouses and children up to the age of 21 of the teacher may join him or her in the U.S. after one month of the teacher's arrival and the spouses are eligible to work in the U.S. upon receipt of work authorization, which usually takes about three months after arrival to the U.S. So let's look at the eligibility requirements to immigrate to the U.S. as a teacher. So number one, you must have professional proficiency in both spoken and written English. You need a university degree from your home country or U.S. equivalent to a four-year U.S. bachelor's degree. A master's degree increases your chances of acceptance. So university degree must match the subject you intend to teach on arrival to the US. So for example, to teach chemistry, you must have a chemistry education degree. It cannot be replaced with a geography or mathematics degree, for example. To teach geography, you must have a degree in geography. A degree in special education will not cut it. To teach French, you must have a degree in French teaching or a degree in English teaching if you are a native French speaker. Number three, your said university degree must have a teaching component. So for example, you must have completed courses in pedagogy, teaching methods, psychological development, teaching internship, etc. Then number four, eligibility requirement to move to the US as a professional teacher, you need at least two years classroom teaching experience since graduating with your university degree. Number five, you need a valid driver's license and two years of driving experience. Number six, eligibility requirement, you need official certificate of good conduct from your local police department or criminals investigations department, that is CID. You must be in general good health and then you're going to need a U.S. designated sponsoring organization. And I'm going to leave a link at the bottom for where you can find sponsoring organizations. So, for example, if you are a teacher based in Kenya, currently the only sponsoring organization for teachers to immigrate to the U.S. is the Foreign Academic and Cultural Exchange Services, that is FACES. So if you immigrate through FACE, you will live and work in South Carolina state in the U.S. Let's take a look at the most sought subject areas to immigrate to the U.S. as a full-time teacher. 
So we have the following as the highest preferred subjects to immigrate to the US as a teacher under the J-1 visa. Number one, mathematics. We have biology, chemistry, physics, special education, elementary education, and then we have foreign languages. So we are talking about Mandarin, Chinese, French, Spanish, German, etc. Now let's take a look at the top 10 teacher export countries to the US. So according to the Exchange Visitor J1 Non-Immigrant Visa Program website, the top 10 countries sending the most people to teach in the US are the Philippines, Jamaica, China, France, Colombia, Spain, India, Mexico, United Kingdom, and Germany. So what is the application process to immigrate to the US temporarily as a teacher under the J-1 visa? So number one, of course, you need to prepare your documents. And here we are talking about your valid passport, your university degree, diplomas, and certificates, your official transcripts validated by the National Association of Credential Evaluation Services, NESIS, evidence of at least two years of satisfactory classroom teaching experience since graduating with your undergraduate degree. You need your recommendation letters. At least three should be from your school administrators. Number six, you need a copy of your valid driver's license. You must have at least two years of driving experience. You need a recorded three to five minute video bio about yourself. Number eight, you must be willing to return to your native country for at least two years to share your educational and cultural experiences before you may return to the United States to work again. And of course, number nine, any other information requested by your J-1 exchange program visa sponsor. So once you have prepared your documents, step number two is to find a sponsoring organization for your J-1 exchange visa and have said you must do so under a designated sponsor organization. We have a couple here that you can look at depending on the program that you're interested to. So just come to this website, j1visa.state.gov slash sponsors, and then select teacher and pick your country. So we have several programs here. You're gonna need to select your country so that you narrow down by the sponsors that are currently handling your country. So the sponsoring organization is the one that helps you to process your application as well as help you with settlement into America in case your application is successful. Some of the sponsoring organizations will charge you a placement fee while others will not. It pretty much varies from sponsor to sponsor. Faces, for example, the organization that I said sponsors teachers from Kenya as well as other countries does not charge placement fees. The third step, once you have all your documents, you have your sponsoring organization, is interviews. Upon submission of your application to prospective sponsoring organizations, they will place you for a series of interviews with selected school districts, depending on when one decides to hire you as a teacher for one of the schools under their jurisdiction. Some key achievements, skills, and traits that interviewers will be looking out for during the interviews include your educational background, learning strategies that evoke student engagement, motivational techniques, discipline strategies, use of technology in learning, and most importantly, intercultural strategies that you aim to pass on to your potential students, as this is the gist of the J1 Exchange Visa Program. Step number four, upon successfully passing the interviews in step three about the school district that selects you informs your sponsoring organization of their willingness to hire you as a teacher in the school district. The sponsoring organization will then supply you with the following information, the name of school, teaching assignments, duties and responsibilities, salary and benefits details, as well as the expected arrival time to the US. Step number five, applying for your J-1 visa at the US embassy in your home country. Teacher applicants who have successfully completed the evaluation process and have been offered a teaching position will receive from the sponsoring organization a certificate of eligibility for exchange visitor J-1 status from DS-2019. Armed with the information in step four above, you will then need to submit an application and attend your J-1 visa interview 
at the U.S. Embassy in your home country. The key here is to clearly articulate to the visa officer interviewing you that the J-1 visa program is a teaching exchange program allowing teachers to live and work in the United States for one year with the option to renew for a second and third year. Hence, your main reason for wanting to immigrate to the U.S. through this program is to teach and to learn from your prospective hosts and students. Step number six, if your visa application in step number five above is successful, your sponsoring organization will process your departure to the U.S. Although some organizations will pay your entire air ticket, most will pay for half your air ticket and require you to cater for the remainder. Your sponsor will be there to meet you upon arrival to the U.S. Other issues your sponsoring organization will help you with include teaching preparations, tips on how to adjust to your new environment, how to handle your prospective students, opening a bank account, getting a car, among other issues. Well, guys, that's it for today in terms of the J-1 U.S. visa that allows professional teachers in their home country to immigrate to the U.S. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a sweet comment below and share it with all other professional teachers that may be interested in immigrating to the U.S. Thank you for staying up to the very end of this video. I definitely look forward to meeting you on the next one. Bye guys.